Discover cloud native development with OpenShift in IBM Power Systems Virtual Servers. The Power Systems Virtual Servers are a form of infrastructure as a service. For clients who are running either the AIX, IBM I, or Linux operating systems, the Power Systems Virtual Servers can quickly create and deploy one or more virtual servers and can support several workload scenarios, including disaster recovery, development environments, and partial IT infrastructure moves. This is the dashboard for IBM Cloud's Power Virtual Server. We have seven instances running here, which is the minimum requirement for OpenShift container platform while using a user-provisioned infrastructure. To deploy OpenShift container platform, let's look at how we leverage the automation tools, Terraform and Ansible. We leverage Terraform to create the required power virtual instances, also known as logical partitions. Consequently, Ansible has deployed OpenShift container platform on the logical partitions. This is the confirmation screen, which indicates that the required logical partitions along with the prerequisite packages are now set up on the nodes for OpenShift cluster platform installation. This is the final confirmation page that displays an overview of the OpenShift cluster platform's web console URL and Bastion node IP details. Now on screen is the web console for Red Hat's OpenShift container platform. For this demo, we authenticate with default login details. Here we are now, logged into Bastion node. In this demo, we will deploy a two-tier application made up of Node.js and MongoDB that is leveraged to deploy a geospatial workload on OpenShift container platform running on IBM Power virtual servers. We have now cloned the demo repository on the Bastion node. This screen shows that we have successfully applied the respective service and deployment configuration files. To access the application services outside OpenShift Container Cluster, we will now create a secure route. We can now add the predefined information logic to the URL that will fetch the relevant data from the MongoDB database. As you can see, we have queried the MongoDB via Node.js APIs and have retrieved inspection results across different organizations within specific PIN codes.